and don't talk to anyone about what you just saw, yeah? You know, not anyone. Did you hurt him bad? <sighs> yeah, toughen up. And the next time you get some weird idea to just prat about and play games, you swallow it down. You swallow it right down as far as it'll go and you put a lock on it, yeah? What the Thunder said grew out of a conversation that we had with a head teacher from a London primary school. And she shared with us her concerns about the high levels of violent crime that the children in her school were witnessing. Um, and at the Theatre Centre, we like to develop our productions in collaboration with young people. So we thought this would be a really interesting opportunity to run creative writing workshops to create a production. Today we're going to be doing lots of sort of creative writing exercises with you which will hopefully be a lot of fun and it's an opportunity to use your imagination and draw some pictures and make up some stories and do no maths at any point, <laughs> any point during the day I promise. We're going to just give you 10 minutes to go through these and fill them in as your character would fill them in, okay? And I'd like you to think about their name and what makes them good or what makes them bad. My um, villain is called Whitney. She looks nice, but she's um, evil. Um, flips it out and she's the bad girl, and she tries and like defeat the good, the, the, um, the good people, and like rule the world. What does she do that's so bad? Um, she wants to be rich and famous, so um, she makes up fake names and goes into TV programs, then steals things. She can stretch and stuff, so that she can be flexible. And she could do gymnastics. What do you think makes him happy? Um, when he's drunk. When he's drunk. Brilliant. What I want out of this uh, project is to get some insight into what the children are feeling about violence in the community and their experiences of violence in the community. We're particularly interested in how um, bullying is affecting these children and how they perceive being bullied. How many of you here think that baddies are born bad from the very beginning? Okay, good. How many of you here think that baddies could be born good, but then something happens and they get bad over time. We're going to write a story, and it's a Dear Diary story. So this is how it's going to go. Dear Diary, I'm sure you remember when I was good. Everything was much happier then, but then one day it all changed. This is what happened. And then you're going to write the thing that you saw or the thing that happened to you that changed things. It allows the children to really be learning something wonderful, to take part in something that is creative and interesting. Um, it gives them an opportunity to show us their creative side. So it's, it's sort of doing it in an indirect fashion. So instead of me coming in and saying, all right, kids, tell me about violence. Tell me what you think. Give me all of the gritty details. We get to spend a couple of days with them talking about superheroes and talking about things that are funny, talking about slapstick, talking about violence in different ways. I was in bed when a powerful zombie came and made me a baddie. Someone shot my mum and my dad. I then got furious and wanted revenge. I stabbed him in the leg, then I took the money. I felt sorry for him and also very regretful. I imagined how much pain it would have been if it had happened to me. I was so sad because I got grounded and it's not nice to do something like that. Great. I was planning a story about a superhero talking about bullying and what kind of feelings you feel when people are fighting. I like writing stories because it's just good, something to do. And one day you might turn out to be an author. You never know. I think the thing that we all decided early on would be very useful uh, is for, at the end of the day, the kids to be able to take home something that they've created themselves, a, a, a story, uh, whether that's written down or whether that's as a drawing um, or a cartoon, something, because... I think it's, it's a very valuable way of 
recording your feelings and having and, and being able to do something with your feelings. Do you think a beard would work? In this community, there's a lot of domestic violence and there's a lot of violence that the children see on the street. I think for the experiences that the children go through in a school like this, I think it's really helpful to have drama groups and workshops like this running um, because it gives the children an opportunity to express themselves and express their experiences in, in a positive way. <laughs> The play's about violence and it's about the children's experiences of violence as they tell us. And the most useful thing I think in our job and doing what we're doing um, is to come into a school and simply listen to the kids. So today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about violence again, but this time we're going to only talk about real violence. We're not going to talk about stuff you see on TV. I saw a man beating up a girl and then yeah, they said that um, the police never done nothing because like, there was wife and husband. A man got mad and he took out a rocket and tried to kill and killed someone. That guy was bad. He, he killed twice. He killed two people so far that I know. Someone got stabbed about ten times and he's still alive. There was um, punching in the face going on and bl blood was pouring out and, and but about three ambulances came. So what does the anger feel like inside of you if you had to give it, uh, let's say, a colour? What does it look like? Black. My belly feels like all skinny and, and, and soon I just like trash up my bedroom and scream. Like um, pink going red. into red and red, dark, 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 red. Oh, and okay, then so you're going like, up. Uh, a big red. <laughs> oh, like a volcano. Yeah, like a big red kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, definitely. I'd like uh, to create a play that's come as much as possible entirely from what they've talked about and what they've shared with us and the stories that they've come up with. The idea is to come up with something that's the right kind of balance uh, between uh, the very humorous that we've seen, uh, the very everyday, the very touching, and, you know, maybe a, a moment where, we, where we're surprised by what the kids are um, experiencing as negative things. Hold it! What we hope the children gain is that they will feel proud of themselves for being involved. There'll be a sense of ownership when they see stuff in the play that's going to remind them of things they've said. So it's a sense of ownership, it's a sense of being listened to. So perhaps this will be a time where they think, oh, wow, you know, an adult not only sat and listened to me for a day, but actually went away and thought about what I said, considered what it meant, and put some time and energy into creating something. Who? Who are you? I'm toilets. Who are you? I'm Museum Snug, and this is Mr. Councillor Snug. We are the keepers of the book of infinite wisdom. How do I deal with bullies? But not just bullies, rough kids and, and bad guys. <laughs> How do I deal with bad guys? <laughs> bad guys are oh, the ultimate unquestionable answer to the question. How do I deal with bad guys? Just Eat. walk away. What? Mm. Just walk away. Oh, what if they follow you? Oh, uh, 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 I thought you had the answers to everything. Oh, we do. I think that adults think they know everything. They um, think that this is right, but then they say that. And then they change their mind saying that this is right. And then it over and over again. I really liked it because they made it really real and it wasn't, it felt like it was, wasn't a made up story. Look at my face. They're me. I've been fighting myself this whole time. I've just been hurting myself. I'm such an idiot. Shouldn't have 
I like the part when he realised that the, the, um, the scary people were actually him. It made me feel sad a little bit. I think it was about following your heart and not doing what everyone else tells you to do. Don't force anybody to do what they don't want. Um, if you don't want to do it, just leave it. They have their own choice of freedom and whatever they want to do is not up to you, but up to them. If you say you're scared and then um, like people will people will find that and they'll um, and they'll like they'll be mean to you about it. But if you if you just stay confident and believe in yourself you'll be absolutely fine.